Hey, have you seen this amazing kinetic picture? It's blowing up on social media and people are losing their minds over it. I was just scrolling through my Facebook feed when I came across it and I couldn't believe my eyes. It's so cool. I had to share it with you. Although the awesome people at Wooden City provided me this kit to review, I'm still going to give you my honest opinion. Okay, let's start the unboxing. You can see on the front already, self-assembly, no glue required, which is excellent. It's an eco product because it's made entirely from wood. It has 185 parts and it's going to take about three hours to assemble, which seems like a long time. There's a, a QR code there so you can get some video instructions, which we'll look at later on. Um, difficulty level is medium. It goes from beginner to very hard. Um, and it's recommended for ages 14 plus, which is interesting because I don't think that kid on the picture is age 14. <laughs> he looks a bit younger. Three hours for 14 years. Maybe that's why. What's really cool about this box is it's made of wood. I've got a feeling that this wooden box is going to become the frame for the picture at the end, which would be awesome. Now, have I missed something? There are no instructions for opening the kit because it's like fully assembled. We're going to have to go right to the instructions to work out how to even open this box up. Okay, I'm just scrolling down. Let's try and find the instructions for the kinetic picture. There we go. Ah, I see. Because this is not using any glue, this this side just slots out. Ow, it is very stiff. So the right, it is not going to require glue. Almost certainly. Okay, the insides. Here are the instructions. Let's get rid of these ones. Do not throw away the box and use plywood sheets after assembling. Make a stand for your model. If you have a missing or broken piece, you can also contact them. I love this because it's reusing the parts of the box. The instructions, which are, oh my goodness, verbose and complete. Here are some of the parts that are going to make the kinetic patterns. The parts look laser cut as we come to expect from these wooden kits um, they all like look like they're going to pop out fairly easily see this one here and um, they're etched on the front which is this side and the back too cogs are often seen as simple functional objects but they can also be beautiful works of art the interlocking teeth of a cog wheel have a symmetrical beauty and the way they mesh together in perfect harmony is truly a sight to behold. Uh oh, I've already broken a piece. Mm. I think it's because I was heavy handed with this screwdriver. Uh, I'll put this to one side. I will now follow the instructions. There's nothing worse than starting a new stem kit and realizing you don't have the right type of glue. But with this kit, that's not a problem. It comes with everything you need to build the toy without any glue required. The pieces fit perfectly together, so there's no worry about them falling apart. Plus, it's easy to follow the instructions and put your toy together without any fuss. So ditch the glue and try out this kit. It's sure to provide hours of fun. Ah, do you think these are marked with the first aid sign? because they're emergency spares in case I broke one, which will be super handy because I broke one of these. Let's have a look. This is num numbered number three and that's number three. Yes. Oh my goodness. What a savior. They have really thought of everything. I am so, so glad I was going to be super embarrassed to get back in contact with them and say, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't read the instructions properly. And I broke one of the really, really delicate pieces. There's something about wooden toys that feels just right. They're solid, durable, and they have a certain heft to them that plastic toys just can't match. Plus, they have a classic look that never goes out of style. But what's the real reason why wooden toys are so popular? It might have something to do with the fact that they're made from a renewable source, or it could be because they're biodegradable, so you don't have to feel guilty about throwing them away when your kids are done with them. Whatever the reason, wooden toys are definitely here to stay. Now, now we've got all the pieces out, we should have a look to see what we need to do first. Okay, so this one here, and then we're looking for the little cross piece, got it. And then this is going onto here, like this. Now we know it's going to be a very tough fit, there we go, on. 
and the smaller one. Dot goes at the bottom on here like that. There we go. Cogs can be found in all sorts of machinery, from clocks to cars, and they come in a variety of sizes and shapes. Some cogs are small enough to fit in the palm of your hand, while others are massive and impressive. No matter their size, cogs are amazing examples of engineering excellence, and with their clean lines and geometric shapes, they make for stunning pieces of art. So next time you see a cog wheel, Take a moment to appreciate its beauty. It may just be the most artful thing you see all day. When I first started this channel, I wanted to review only science related STEM toys. But what I found out pretty quickly was that my favorite kits have been the ones that combine science and art. For centuries, art and science have been seen as two distinct disciplines, but in reality, they have a lot in common. Both art and science require creative thinking, and both disciplines can be used together to understand the world around us. In many ways, art and science are two sides of the same coin. Consider, for example, the work of Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci was not only a great artist, but also a keen scientist who made important discoveries in anatomy and engineering. Similarly, modern artists often use scientific principles to create their work. Some use computers to generate complex patterns or experiment with new materials to create unusual textures. In other words, art and science are two different ways of looking at the world, and both can be used to create something beautiful. When a toy is stretched or compressed, it stores energy in the form of potential energy. This type of energy is often referred to as elastic potential energy because it is typically released when the elastic band inside the toy is allowed to return to its original shape. When this happens, the potential energy is transformed into kinetic energy, which powers the motion of the toy. In some cases, the elastic potential energy may be used to launch a projectile, such as a dart or arrow. In other cases, it may be used to store energy in a spring-loaded mechanism, such as a wind-up toy or a clock. Regardless of how it's used, elastic potential energy is an essential part of many different types of toys. Wow, what a build. It was $119, but for over 300 wooden parts, it took a long time to punch the pieces out. I think overall it took me six hours to build. The age range on the box is about right, 14 plus, because it's quite fiddly and at times a little bit frustrating. I'm gonna give the Wooden City Kinetic Art three stars for fun, two stars for a price, and Three stars for learning. Bye or oh, bye bye. It's a bye. I really enjoyed making this kit. If you've enjoyed this video, check out this one here where I build Da Vinci's catapult from another wooden press out kit.